So what we're now going to do is we're going to display each of the images in this array of cat objects and we're going to place them inside here. Now what they've done is they've again created a HTML string which we can add to and they'll insert this into this box when we press the button and they've also created a for loop which accesses each of these objects right here and create some div tags and what we're going to do is just put some image tags in here. Now remember image tags have two things, they have source which points to the URL and alt which gives some descriptive text for screen readers. So the first thing we need to do inside each div for each object is to create an image tag. So to do this I'm just going to add to HTML using that add equals operator and I'm going to open up an image tag like this and I'm just going to say src equals and open up a single quote. So what we've got is we've got basically up to here and I just had a look at the challenge guide and for some reason when I tried it last time it wouldn't accept a bracket notation so you have to use the dot operator to access the image link and we can access the URL by doing a val dot image link and then what we need to do is now that we put the source in we need to close off this single bracket again being careful to cancel out the second one and I'm just going to add a space here and we'll leave it at that so now we've got the source we need to add the alt text and to do this, I'm going to add to it. We haven't closed the image tag yet, so I can add it straight in here. I can say alt equals, open a single bracket, and then we need to add the alt text. And the alt text is stored with the key alt text. So I can just do val dot alt text like this. And then I'm going to close this off with a single bracket. And I'm going to close off the image tag like this. Now if I press this button, we've got all the CAD images loaded up and hopefully that should be everything. So I'm going to run it now. Yep, quite easy this one. 